Horror Story Part 2. Jenny was locked in the classroom for a few days. She was so scared because she doesn't want to be locked in the classroom. And she didn't even sleep the whole time. She never even closed her eyes to sleep. However, she only blinked. And then one day, she was hiding in the classroom like usual. When she heard a knock on the door, she thought it was a police officer. She opened the door with no hesitation, but it was actually the killer. She was shocked to see the killer. Then the killer chased her. The killer was chasing her all around the classroom. Then she went to the exit door of the classroom. She ran down the stairs. Unfortunately, she fell down and got a bruise on her knee. It wasn't too serious, but she got a bruise. She was really in pain and cried, but she said to herself, there's no time to cry. I better go save my life by running away from this killer. And she did run away from the killer. She saw a police car and ran up to the police car. She asked the police officer inside for help. He agreed to help her. The police officer asked, little child, what's the situation? Then Jenny explains everything to the police officer. The police officer was shocked to hear the situation, but was so proud that she managed to tell him everything. And then the police officer decided to go find the killer. However, it was going to be hard because the killer keeps on disguising as a new person. The killer keeps changing clothes, changing colors all the time. At the first sight of the killer, the killer was wearing black and then the next day will change colors because the killer doesn't want to be caught by the police. And then a few weeks later, Jenny was playing with her brother. Her older brother's name is James. James was playing Roblox with Jenny and then she heard a bang on her door. Jenny thinks that it was either her mom or her brother knocking on the door, but she opened it to see the killer. She was shocked, screamed for her mom or her brother to come. But the killer said that her mother and her brother were gone. They were inside the basement. That's why my brother has been AFK, she said. She punched the killer and ran to the basement to save them. She reached the basement. However, no one was even there. The killer had lied to her. She was shocked and was even wondering where was her mother and her brother. She questioned the killer. Hey, you ugly fat person. Tell me where my mother and brother are right now. The killer said, oh, fine. They're long gone. However, the killer was actually lying. Jenny believed that the killer killed them. She started to cry because she missed them so much and didn't want to lose them. But she decided that she was going to avenge them. She was going to avenge her brother and her mother. She slapped the killer so hard in the face. He got a gun and was about to shoot her. He was threatening threatening to shoot her. However, the girl was not scared because it was just a water gun. She knew because he had pulled out the wrong gun. He was shooting her. He shot her but found out it was a water gun and got really mad. He broke the water gun the water gun into two and grabbed the real gun. She put her hands up and started to cry. She didn't want to die so early. Jenny ran away. The killer chased her for so long. Jenny was really getting tired. She fell. She tripped and also got a new bruise on her other knee. She first got one on her right knee and then now got a one on her left knee. She got shocked. Like usual, she's always shocked. She screamed in pain. Before the killer stabbed her, someone grabbed the killer. It was the nice police officer. The police officer said, Hey, you, you're arrested because you have committed so many crimes. You have did so much murder, so now you are going to jail. Then Jenny was relieved to know that he was going to jail. Jenny had found her parents. She found her mother and her brother. They were just inside the killer's basement. She untied them from the chairs, and they even sold the house because they had managed to do something. And then they were living a happy life, or so you thought. 
subscribe and like for part three.